Welcome to my little country kitchen. This week I'm going to be making ketchup from a whole bunch of cherry tomatoes that my mother gave me that she had lots of extra of. And I also made homemade brown sugar as well. This was completely full when they were not cooked. Um, my mom gave me all these cherry tomatoes. I think it was like 13 pound containers. So, And then this brown stuff is um, caramelized onion that I had in frozen cubes in my freezer. So this is how I'm gonna make my ketchup. Just wait for these to cook down more. And then um, probably tomorrow, it, it's on just a slow cook setting. Probably tomorrow I will come back and immersion blend this and then strain out the seeds and the skins. And we'll come back and see how it looks. This is my easy way of making ketchup. Hands off, it's awesome. Okay, it's only been two hours and it's already boiling, even though it was set on slow cook. So I'm, I put it on warm instead. And now that there's enough liquids out, I'm gonna go ahead and use the immersion blender on it. to get that whirlpool effect like you just saw and that's how it's faster to use an immersion blender. I'll come back tomorrow. Um, I'll keep it on warm so it reduces more but it's still pretty liquidy. I'll come back tomorrow and then I'll, I'll put it through the food mill so you get rid of the seeds and the skins. Okay it's day number three and it's done now. See how this was no number 10. Now it's below number eight. And when you draw a line through it, you can actually see the line. See that? And there's no water pooling in it. So that's when you know it's done. And it's still warm, so it's actually gonna cool off even more when it gets cold and thicken even more. So I can can this now. Oh, and it's off warm because it turned off in the middle of the night, so we'll get canning. Water's warming up. Now we're gonna jar this up. I added a little bit more salt and pepper and mustard. I felt it needed more flavor. Instructions from Sarah at Living Traditions Homestead is to give a half inch headspace, so I need to fix that one. And then we water bath the pot until the jars are hot and the water's going to be warm. And then to boil for 15 minutes if you're at a 1k altitude, but I'm at a 6k altitude, so I'm going to do it for 25 minutes. So Sarah obviously made a big giant batch and I didn't have that many tomatoes. So I made the recipe, I cut it into one fifth of the recipe. And I can put an image for you here for the recipe or at the end of this video.
We're going to wait for that to come up to a boil and then set a timer for 25 minutes. We'll be right back. The timer just went off. Now I'm going to let this sit for five minutes and then I'll pull them out and let them cool off. All done. Four quarts of yummy ketchup. And I did add a splash of vinegar to the pot since I have hard water and that makes cleaning the jars a little bit easier. Okay, thanks for joining me. I'll see you on the next one. Please like and subscribe. This is my brown sugar container. I filled it about three quarters full to where I'm pointing. Then I added about a quarter cup of molasses and started mixing. We're going to celebrate all these lives. We're going to have a baby. That's the big one. I'm going to have another baby. Good job. I'm glad I didn't fill this whole container completely full of the white sugar because the amount of brown sugar, I knew it would fluff up, and so I had the exact amount that I needed. It was perfect. I loved listening to General Conference for my church this weekend. This was one of my favorite quotes. This is the orange kitty. This is the purple kitty and the light pink girl. She's very cute, black and white. Here is a ketchup recipe. Go ahead and take a screenshot. My favorite sunflower. Thank you friends for joining me. See you next time, bye.